Mrs. McNosh and the Great Big Squash by Sarah Weeks. Pictures by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Thanks for listening. The first day of spring, Mrs. Nellie McNosh went out to her garden and planted a squash. She pushed the seed in with the tip of her toe, and the minute she did it, it started to grow. At first it was round and as big as a head. In fact, it looked just like the paper boy Fred. Then it turned yellow and bumpy and fat. It rolled from the garden and flattened the cat. It knocked over trash cans and ran over toes. It twisted the sprinkler and plugged up the hose. It crashed through the clothesline and smashed through the fence, scaring the pants off two elderly gents. Poor Nellie was worried. She said, oh my gosh, there's got to be some way to slow down this squash. She slapped it and scolded it, pinched it and kicked it. And then she took hold of its stem and she picked it. Now what do I do, wondered Mrs. McNosh. I've got to find something to do with this squash. There isn't a place in the world it will fit. It's as big as a house. Wait, said Nellie, that's it. And so by the light of a big yellow moon, she scooped and she scraped with the long-handled spoon. And when the sun rose, where was Mrs. McNosh? Curled up, sound asleep. And her big yellow squash. And that's the end. Thanks for listening to Chom Stories.